So we're going to be making carrot dogs. I remember going over my friend Jen's house and she said, we're having carrot dogs. And I was really scared because I actually hate cooked carrots. But let me tell you, those carrot dogs were the bomb and I fell in love from them from day one and I never stopped and I think that you'll really love them too. So I took my carrots and I cut the ends of them and trying to you know make it to resemble a hot dog I really like the big fat ones but really any size will do so I counted out enough so that we each I can have this for two days basically we each can have two hot dogs so I'm really excited about this we're gonna put it in um, boiling pan of water and let the carrots boil for five to seven until I can at least stick a fork through it. Then we're gonna pour the hot water out and run cold water over it and just kind of let them cool off a little bit, you know, drain the water all off. And then we're going to soak it in a marinade overnight. If you can see, I've got the carrots boiling in here. So, I boiled my carrots. I've got my um, ingredients in the bag so that it can marinate overnight. You're going to be adding um, brass liquid amino. Um, you just use a big Ziploc bag and you can just kind of play around with the seasoning. Um, maybe like a cup of brass in each bag or you can use soy sauce. Um, and then you want to put about maybe a half a cup of maple syrup. I don't really measure, but um, you can kind of fix it to the sweet and saltiness that you like it. Then I like putting fennel seed in there, S-E-N-N-E-L. Um, I also put rosemary. Um, and then you put liquid smoke. I actually put a half a bottle of liquid smoke in there. Now some recipes will once again say one tablespoon. Usually when it's one tablespoon for me it's more because I'm trying to bring out the flavor and so you can't go wrong using all the different herbs and things that don't have any salt in them. So, um, and then I put a lot of onion powder and garlic powder, a lot, in the bag. Um, maybe like four tablespoons of each or something like that. I use quite a bit. And then um, you put, you can add paprika in it if you want. Um, um, to add a little spice, I do put the I do add some rosemary as well um, just a little bit of this because you've already added the brag so you don't want to add too much um, the star of these is um, the maple syrup and the brag and the garlic powder really makes it good so um, the more the merrier and then the longer you marinate this, the better. Um, and you can make it your own. Um, if I'm trying to make it taste kind of like a chorizo or something like that, or kind of have a Mexican taste or taco taste to it, um, I add a little bit of cumin and chili powder. So if I want it to taste like an Italian sausage, then that's when I put the fennel and rosemary um, I just kind of play around with it and make the different flavors that I want. And I usually put about a couple tablespoons of the herbs in each bag because I really want the flavor to come out. I don't do a lot of cumin, just a little bit. But again, if I'm trying to do like a chorizo or something like that, then I might add a little bit more um, cumin and chili powder and maybe taco seasoning or something like that. But I just kind of play around with it and um, but my favorite is this way with the fennel and all the ingredients that I just gave you and then what I do to kind of stretch it is I add water 
um, to the bag like halfway. And then, oh, I was forgetting one ingredient. You gotta add a little bit of oil to it. So you can put like one fourth cup of canola um, or whatever oil you like. So this is what the carrot dogs are gonna look like when they come out the oven. Um, I actually um, told you one thing wrong. You're gonna take your oil and just put it in like maybe just a tablespoon of oil, whatever oil you use, and put it in a little bowl and then brush it on the sides and this is what it looks like doesn't this look amazing I mean these are the bomb now I want to show you what it looks like in a hot dog bun So look at all that yumminess. So what I usually do is I dice some onions really fine. That's fine chopped pieces and um, I put that on there. I've even done tomatoes. Um, you can do olives and then you got your um, mustard and ketchup and your mayo and your relish and it is so yummy and you know I made this for Miss King um, the last time I saw her and she just loved it. I thought you all from Sharon would love hearing that and I uh, wish she was still here. But you know if Miss King loved this carrot dog and y'all know how she could throw down in the kitchen with those red velvets and her cakes and her greens and her rolls. So you know if she loved this carrot dog, then you're going to love it too. Well, enjoy. Congratulations on a happy, healthy you.